Hello guys, my name is Saxable. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to talk about what I have learned from busking. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to this channel and like this video so it can be seen by as many people as possible. Again, I'm going to be talking about what I have learned from busking. My first experience busking was in New York and I will do it you know occasionally not really consistent it was in 2017 i just started going to um college at the new school and you know people ask me do i want to play in the park so you know i will play with people in this uh, situation i was playing jazz trio and this was some of my first experience um playing um street performing and I was like, this is amazing, you know, like just getting paid to do what I love, you know, it's not booked by a show, it's just, you know, meeting up with some friends and hey, let's meet up and let's go play and make some money. Let's just have a good time. So one of the things I learned about, one of the things I learned about while busking is you know the biggest thing is the two biggest things i have learned is you want to have a great location and you want to be there at the right time i think these are the most important things so i say when when you're doing it with a group you need to set out amount of time of how long you're going to be playing because keep in mind the more people that's part of the group, the more people that you have to split the money with. But also, what I also learned is sometimes when you have a bigger group, you can also attract a bigger crowd because it's more of a show. So you have to focus on your showmanship. Now, like I said, I started off busking, playing with a jazz trio in New York City. So some of the places we used to play was Central Park, Washington, Washington Park, and Union Square, and then all over. So over time, when you start busking, people will start recognizing you, and they go specifically where you are. That's why it's important to have a certain time when you're going to be there so people can know, okay, he's going to be there, and they can start inviting friends. Um, busking is very good for networking. You know, when you're busking, you don't want it to just all be only about financial, making making money, playing with friends, and going home. You really want to what you want to do is build up your social media platform. You want to build up your social media platform. You want to build up an email list. This is something that I really wish that I knew when I first started busking, how you can turn busking into a real business. You know, it's very important to, you know, to stay in contact with the people that you meet because you never know what that opportunity of knowing them can lead to. You know, you know, everybody knows the saying, like, life is about who you know, so... The good thing about busking is you're always putting yourself visible to be seen in front of thousands and thousands of people. So um, one thing, another thing that I have learned about busking is you have to have patience. You know, you have to have patience because some some days, you know, the money can come really fast and some days the money can come slower. And. You have to be able to have patience and encourage yourself. And when you're doing it with a group, it's easier because you have multiple people encouraging each other and you're having fun with your friends or whoever you're playing with. So you have to have patience because every day, every day is not the same. But as you go, as you do it more and more, you can find the things to make it better and consistently do it so have patience and always stay positive and encourage yourself now in 2020 
I started busking solo with just a speaker. And people would be seeing me around New York going around, like, just carrying my speaker. And, and like, pr- like in the past, I was busking with a jazz trio that consisted of saxophone, bass, and drums. In 2020, when COVID happened, I lost a lot of my gigs, so I needed to find that extra stream of income. So I went to the streets to do this, and I started performing solo with backing tracks. And this was a totally different experience from playing with the trio because with the trio, you know, you get to interact with the the bandmates. You get to feed off each other's energy. Now, when you're playing solo, when you're playing solo, you kind of got to you kind of got to motivate yourself. It's it's a different type of energy. And so when I started playing solo street performing, I would have a speaker, a portable speaker. And this just opened up so many doors because now, see, the thing is with a drummer, you set up with a drummer, now you're in one location. But see, when I got a portable speaker and just my sax, I can pack up and go many places so now when I got when I'm just by myself I started to be able to make more money because now instead of splitting money three ways I'm getting it all for myself but now also I can move to different locations remember I told you guys you have to be at certain places at a certain time so you know in New York I know that people be going to work you know you know, good time is like eight o'clock, seven seven a.m. Like early in the morning, lunch time shifts, dinner time shifts. So now that I'm playing solo, now I can move because the drummer, you know, the drummer takes a long time to set up. So now I don't have to worry about a drummer. Now I can move, at, you know, and go different places. I'm at my um. I can go different places. Now, the good thing about busking is you can set your own schedule. You can set your own schedule. Like with a job, 9 to 5, you have to be there 9 to 5. But with busking, you can pretty much make your whole schedule yourself. Now, one of the things is with busking, though, sometimes you can you can also kind of get lazy from from making your own schedule because you don't have nobody to be responsible saying, okay, you have to get there at this certain time. You know, so it's very important if you're busking that you you take it serious like a job. And again, I'm, I'm going to say again, always be getting the contacts of, infor- contacts of the people that you're meeting on the street and playing for. Another thing that I'm going to get into is, like, different people like different types of music. So, depending on where you're living at, you know, you can be in the United States, you can be in Europe, you can be in Africa, anywhere. You have to be aware of what the people are listening to, what style of music that the people want to hear, because, you know... There's some musicians that just go to the streets and they just play for themselves. But what you have to also keep in mind is that you're trying to do a business. So you have to you also have to get paid and you have to play. You have to find that middle ground where you do what you love, but you also can bring the people in on what they love. So the difference between performing in New York and Miami, one of the things that I had to adjust was when I moved to Miami and I was street performing, I had to learn how to bus. Not bus, sorry, but I had to learn how to play reggaeton. Reggaeton is like, a, you know, Latin, like party music, like Bad Bunny. So I had to go start learning different styles of music. You know, it like it forced me to start learning different cultures, music. So I would say I would recommend guys have a different playlist of different styles of music that you can tap into any any given moment. And as far as a speaker, like have a when if you're playing solo, 
have a portable speaker that lasts for hours. You know. Okay, another thing that I have learned from busking is like you can you guys can make a lot of money from street performing. Now what you have to learn how to is what to do with that money. Of course you can save that money, but one thing I wish I would have learned is that money you get from street for street performing busking, what you really want to do is start investing that money so you can have that money work for you and just keep growing like that. Have that so be making content, uh be making uh connections, make content and make the money and have the money invest for you. So guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And these are some of the things that I have learned from busking. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments. And thank you for watching this video. And I'm going to be growing my YouTube channel. So.